guys, I actually um, started making you guys a video outside and it started raining and I got wet. So now we're starting all over. But we are doing today a quick at home, no equipment needed workout that is going to target your hips, abs, and thighs. So a long time ago when I worked at a gym in Huntsville, Alabama, the hips, abs, and thighs class, we used to call it the hat class, and it was super, super popular because people always want to work on those areas. So this is a perfect workout when you have low energy and you just want to chill at home and get a little bit of exercise in. So grab your mat, join me on the floor, and let's go. Let's get started. I think I need to move away from y'all. What do you think? I'm too close. I'm too close. Let's see if that's better. I think that'll be better. All right. So we're going to start with good old fashioned bridges. We're going to do 30. You're going to roll the shoulders under, feet are flat on the floor, tummy is tight. You're going to come up and squeeze your bum as tight as you can. Here we go. One, two, three. Squeeze it. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. The benefits in the what? Squeeze. Sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and 30. Bring it down. Good, good, good. All right, we're going to move into 30 crunches. Hands behind your head. Elbows are open. Chins off the chest. And we're going to exhale and lift up. Do you want to see my face and not my knees? <laughs> Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, and thirty. Do y'all like the tulips? I just put that screensaver on. I think it's so cute. All right. I'm half on, half off this, this rug, but it's okay. We'll, we'll survive. All right, we're gonna do another set of bridges. This time, we're going to, actually, let's do single leg. Let's do 15 on the right leg, 15 on the left. You can place a leg in the air, or you can cross over onto another, like cross your right leg over left. I'm struggling today. See, this is why you need, sometimes you need like a lazy day workout. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Switch. One, two, Three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Good job. Going back to 30 crunches. Exhale up. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. I love that it started raining and I've had to scrap my video and start all over. It's awesome. All right, another set of bridges. This step, let's bring the feet together, knees together. So it's going to feel way different. You're not going to be able to get up as high and you're going to feel it more in the outer thighs. 
outside of your hips, actually. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. 30 crunches. You knew it. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, and thirty. Roll onto your side. All right, I'm gonna scoot up a little bit or try to scoot back. I think I just need to pull back some more. Okay. Let's see. So, I think a mosquito bit me. We're gonna flex the bottom foot, which you can't see, but it's flexed like that. Point the top leg. Hand is in front for support. You don't want to be leaning forward and you don't want to be leaning back. You want to lean, not lean. You want to balance yourself, your weight between front and back. Hand in front. You're going to come up. You're going to point that toe. You're going to squeeze your butt, which allows you to rotate your leg. So when you come up, your leg is this way. And then when you come up to the top, you rotate it and bring it down. Kick, squeeze. Kick, squeeze. There's three, four, five, six, seven. Now, don't worry about how high you get, eight, or flexibility. You do you. Nine, ten, eleven. We're going to twenty, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, good, 19, and 20, very good. Now bend both legs, so you're kind of like in a little 90 degree, 90-90, but then you can pull those heels in, and you're going to keep your heels of your feet together and you're going to open and close we call this clamshell so we're focusing our energy right here tummy's tight here we go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve feel me here thirteen 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. And then you're going to flip this upside down. You're going to flip it over like this. And it's going to look really funky. And you're going to be like, I don't move like that. You might not move like that, but you can move similar to, how about that? Here we go. See, my leg was here, and now I have it turned here. Uh, that's the only thing that moved. See, was this. Now, point that toe, squeeze, 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 squeeze. There's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Excellent. On your back. 50 bicycle crunches. And then I'm going to tell y'all a story before we do all of that on the other side. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, 
15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, five more, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Good job. All right, switch sides. Okay, so we started out doing, what did we do? Big kicks? I think so. All right, flex the bottom leg, point the top leg. Oh, story. Um, yesterday I had an 88 year old lady in one of my classes. She was amazing. On the floor, getting up and down. And so I just wanted to encourage you, if you can, keep doing that. Like get up and down off the floor. Like that is one of the best things that you can do for your health, longevity, and wellness. All right, tummy tight, hand in front for support. Flex the bottom leg, point the top leg. Big kicks, remember, up, rotate, and squeeze. Three, four. Your leg will loosen up after a while and you'll be able to get higher. Seven, eight, nine. Make sure you're squeeze, squeezing 10. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Excellent. All right, bend those knees. And we're gonna go into clamshell. Remember the feet and the heels are together. Hand is here, tummy's tight. One, two, three, four, five. Squeeze it here, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Flip it over. Remember that one that seems super awkward. Flip it over, here we go, one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. Back on your back. And we have those bicycle crunches. So single count fifty, double count twenty-five. I'm just gonna do double count twenty-five. So that y'all don't have to hear me talk more than I already am. You probably already are like, gosh, just shut up when you have a count. All right, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, and 25. Good job. All right, we're going to get on our hands and knees now. Hands and knees, hands and knees. Oh. Ah, this floor, this tile floor is special. All right, I'm gonna to turn to the side so you'll be able to see what is going on up now. All right, hands and knees, tummy is tight. You're gonna take your right knee and you're gonna bring it behind the left knee. Then you're gonna bring it out to the side and kick it out. Bring it behind, you don't have to go and touch the floor and sit back, but you're just bringing it behind the other leg then up and out. There's two. We're going to do 15, three. I want you to control it. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. <sighs> All right, on your back. And we're going to do some in and outs with those legs for the lower belly. Option is to tap down and lift up. That makes it easier. So if you wanna do those, you can do those. If you wanna take the tap out, you can take the tap out. Or you can extend your legs out, pull in. There's two, keep the lower back glued to the floor. Three, four, and five. Six, seven, control, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, I hear my dog snoring with him, fourteen, fifteen, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Good job. All right, now I gotta do the same thing on the other side. There we go. How many we do? 15, 20? I really need one of y'all to be here to help me. All right, remember, gonna cross behind, lift up and kick. There's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Excellent. All right. Now on that one, you might have more pain from the leg that's not moving the stationary leg. So don't be surprised. That thigh and hip might be screaming. All right, we're gonna do those in and outs again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19 and 20. Good job. All right, so we have one more that is going to be thigh and core. So you're gonna bring your right leg up and you're gonna straighten the left. Now once we get started, if that feels awkward for you or it feels bad for your low back, you can always bend that leg and place that foot on the floor and it's going to make it um, easier. So you're going to point the toe. You're going to lower the leg down towards the floor. You're going to sweep it out to the side and bring it up. So you're sweeping the leg. It's not touching the floor at all. We're going to go 10 this direction and then we're going to change directions for 10. 
you know, the challenge is to keep the leg straight. So the leg is gonna wanna keep bending, but you want to straighten it as much as you can. And keep reminding yourself to straighten the leg and point the toe. Here we go. There's one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, nine, ten. And now we're going to switch. It's going to go out to the side, down, and up. One. Now, to me, this way is easier. Two, but everybody's different. Three, keep your butt cheeks glued to the floor. Four, five. Six, seven, eight, two more, nine, and ten. Pull that leg in, give it a little squeeze, a little hug, and then we're going to switch sides. I'm going to get up and move so that you can see me. Here we go. All right, pull up leg straight, sharp toe, the other leg is down. So let's go down, out, up as one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten, reverse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And 10, hug that knee in, give it a little love, Great. hug both knees in, roll side to side. Good job. We're done. Hopefully you got something out of that. Let's see, 20 something minutes. Yep, that's what I thought. Don't y'all like how I have to wink and squint? Deny till you die, deny till you die. There ain't no contacts in these eyes. I just do the best I can for how long I can. So, I hope that you enjoyed it. Keep moving. Keep moving. Whatever you do, keep moving. Remember, if you rest, you'll rust. So, we got to keep moving. Do what you can. Start where you're at. Have a great day. See you guys next time. Bye.